What is up, YouTube? I'm your friendly neighborhood, Endman64, and I'm bringing you some more Mario Kart Wii as part of the 50th LP Extravaganza. In the last episode, we did the first of the Retro Cups, aka the Shell Cup, in 150cc, and where our mood our mood is slowly improving. And since we're on a run with the ladies here, I figure let's give Rosa okay. her to compete, and we'll give her a cart. As you can see, we have all these pretty nifty carts, all things considered. We have the standards, the off-roader, the flame flyer, piranha, pla bleh bleh, piranha prowler, the jetster, the honey coop. I just realized there's only one real good car for off-roading for the heavy people. They're mostly based on speed still. Similar to Double Dash. I, I, I do enjoy that. Now, yes, we do have Wario's bike. It's literally just the bike Wario drives around in, if you recall, if you've ever played Super Smash Brothers before, or just played a Wario game in general. Uh, Shooting Star tends to be the one that look, works the best with Rosa, so let's give, let's give Rosa her jumpsuit. And for the sake of argument, we are doing the Flower Cup here, Mario Circuit, Coconut Mall, DK Summit, and Wario's Gold Mine. I hate that course. Not as much as I hate other courses, but I do hate Wario's Gold Mine. Or more specifically, it hates me. But hey, what doesn't hate me these days? Now, we're going to try to keep things more positive because, yes, Rosalina was the reason why my sanity was broken. I had to do perfection just to unlock her, which was the dumbest thing I've ever done. But hey, it had to be done in order to unlock everything. It just sucks that you have to be perfect to unlock, to unlock characters. Like, to unlock, like, super good cars, super good items later on, or something like that. That makes sense. What doesn't make sense to me is needing to, needing to be perfect just to unlock characters. I don't mind having to be perfect every now and then, but like, I should, it should not be a requirement to, like, progress through the game, unless you want to get something like a trophy or something, which, as we all know, Nintendo doesn't have, the, the PlayStation has the trophies, there we go, perfect time to jump, avoid the chain jump, make snap on my ass, and it's not, we don't want that, guys, we definitely don't want chain Chain Chomp's bite on their heads. Goombas, because apparently no Mario levels complete without Goombas. Not in Double Dash, DS, or Wii at least. I don't think there were any Goombas going around in 64 on Mario Circuit. Or the Piranha Plants. And no, I don't mean the Redux one that we just raced on. I mean the... I mean the one with the, the the one on the actual N64. They are in the Mario Kart 8 one, I know that. At least I think they are. I'll say I'm like 80% sure. Yeah. We win. Yeah. We've been doing good with the ladies so far, so I'll just keep giving the ladies shots. That mean I gotta be Baby Daisy and Baby Peach? Oh, I'm not being freaking Birdo, I can assure you that. Screw Birdo. She deserves nothing. Even though I hate the Wii Wheels mechanics, as I've, I'll say it before, I'll say it a thousand times, it, there are very, there are many times where you'll want to go left and it'll make you go right. It's not the best responsive thing in the world, and by God, does it frustrate you to no end. But, when it's done right... By God, it feels perfect to drive. Why was it the first thing I, I... I have my volume on my TV on super extra low, but the one thing I hear is Yoshi screaming like a bitch. Is he just mad that I'm not, that I'm not him anymore for most things? Yoshi and I didn't even have a bad breakup. It's just the fact that I wanted to try other things. That is my girl, man. It doesn't mean I'm done to have Yoshi. I might use Yoshi for 64. I haven't decided. Yet. I've got LPs in mind where Yoshi's going to be a prominent character. It's just 
It's nothing against Yoshi, it's just the fact that I wanted to try other things. Mario Kart Mario Party 6. Mario Party 7. Though if I want to be Toadette for one more game, then I'm gonna have to play Mario Party 8. Which, which stinks because I don't like Mario Party Mario, Mario Party 8. I love Mario. Specifically the deluxe version, because I mean there's nothing against the Wii U, but I have it out now. You know, nothing beats nothing beats a game that's been updated and brought to another system and then approved of DLC. Especially when that DLC is some of the crispest, most beautiful looking courses I've ever seen in a Mario Kart game. Including Redux. And original courses too. The Yoshi's Island course. Oh my god. I know we're strong trying to talk about Mario Kart Wii here. But there's only so many times you can sit around and say, Oh, I love the way Mario Kart controls, except when it doesn't control well. Like Mario Kart 8, man. That game. That game, they went for Nintendo for some strange reason has the last couple of years like DLC and stuff has just gone all out. I used, I used to think it was just Smash, but like even Pokemon Sword and Shield's DLC was really good. Uh, Xenoblade's DLC was really good according to the people who loved it. I don't own a copy of Xenoblade 2 because the game is freaking too big for me to put on my Switch at the moment. And I use the Switch mostly for retro gaming, except for certain things. I love that that red shell literally followed me from like China and back. But whenever I throw red shells at people, they immediately veer off. The Some of the stupidity that Mario Kart delivers to you on a silver platter. But again, like I said, I don't mind it too much. I, I can tolerate it for a bit. Not completely, but enough where I could just sit back and go, eh, not too bad. Summit, which was also recently brought into the uh, DLC. I will say the DLC, they have not picked DLC courses that I would that I would have picked at first glance, but they've done really good choices for picking the DLC course. Like I was expecting them to pick like lousy courses that they think everybody wants to see. Like, you know, like the, the desert course or DS or something like that. But no, they've actually done really good with the choices they've made. Not only with original, not only with just original races as well, but also the retro cuts they're bringing back. And the bringing back so many extra courses from tour makes sense because not that many people are chosen to play it. Because, you know, not, every, not everybody is on their phone 24 hours a day. And if they are, they're going to other things. Like, I know a lot of people, a lot of YouTube channels are sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. All the games like that, but not everybody plays those games. And thank you, Shy Guy, for ruining my jump. I was trying to look fancy, but evidently, looking fancy is not what this game wants to be. Shadow Warrior. That means I don't have to be perfect and fancy, I can just play the game to the best of my ability. Yes! Since I've unlocked literally everybody and everything you can on Shell, I didn't actually want to be in first entire time at all, actually. I actually wanted you to give Yoshi a supporting chance. Not Diddy Kong. Fuck Diddy Kong. And of course, naturally, red shells that weren't even aimed at me are now suddenly hitting me. And Bowser, who's just gonna come out of nowhere and steal my item box. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's kosher. But the stars are also cool. Item boxes, the shy guys, and I, I think I'm getting the hang of that jump trick now. You just gotta, you just gotta flick the Wii mode at just the right time. I'm curious as to how you would pull off trick shots with the controller. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've been able to. Maybe you gotta use like the drift shot when you're doing it manually. 
I don't know. I don't remember ever. I don't remember using Mario Kart Wii without the Wii wheel when I was a kid. Because it felt, it felt clunky. I, I, I vaguely remember doing it once or twice when I had, like, friends over. You know, back when the Ant Man actually had friends that weren't just his cousin, his girlfriend, and a, a silly Canadian fellow named Mark. Oh, no, he's got friends. Oh, shit. Recover. There we go. At least Diddy Kong hit something, too. That monkey bastard! No, 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 no! Right up! Are you kidding me? Right up to the freaking finish line! <sighs> Shit! But, that's Mario Kart for you. Getting hit with a blue shell at the last minute, not having the speed to pick up and win, because, you know, they all need the speed to win, too. Especially Diddy Kong. I'll scalp that monkey next time I see him. It's strange that Diddy Kong, of all people, got put into this game. I know for... It made sense if we needed someone to ride with Donkey Kong, but like... Did, did we just forget Diddy Kong Racing does exist? And no, I do not count Diddy Kong Racing as part of Mario Kart franchise. Some of you may, because, well, he's Diddy Kong and he's in Mario Kart, but no, Diddy Kong is not, Diddy Kong is not anyone that I would consider, Diddy Kong Racing is not a game I would consider. I have thought of, I did think about it, I did give myself a couple of pros and cons of playing that game, but the biggest con being the fact that I have not played, oh my god, I just tried to do it. Just tried to veer. My oh, Bowser. Driving off to your desk. Nice eight. Um, I have not played Diddy Kong Racing in ages. I know it's like somewhat similar to uh, Crash Team Racing, which also obviously does not count. And I don't even have a copy of the original Crash Team Racing, so that, 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 that would be possibility at all. I don't even have a copy of Nitro Card. But that's okay because Nitro Card is terrible. No, I have not played Diddy Kong Racing in ages even though I do own it. I actually just got it from work. Because yes, a lot of people just randomly drop off like giant metric ton piles of video games because there are the old people who are selling out all their kids yeah. stuff and they don't realize how, how valuable those things are. Actually, from work, I got four games, actually. I got, uh, actually got a, an actual boxed copy of Mario Party 4. Not sealed, but boxed. I got, I think, Mario Tennis. Oh, no, 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 okay. I got Mario Tennis, I got the original Smash Brothers, and, uh, yeah, Diddy Kong Racing, I think, the only new game that I got. Because I have the other ones. Until Diddy Kong Racing and Smash and a few other games get put on the, the N64, I'm going to keep my N64, the N64 app for the Switch. I am going to keep that. Yeah. That blue shell tried to screw me over a second time, but I was not going to let it. What do we say to the God of Death Kids? Not today. Not today. You know, good old Arya Stark lines and all that. God, I miss Game of Thrones. When it was good. I don't miss the last few seasons. They were they were kind of poopy. I have mentioned before that I wish that season 6 was the river and ended. Where it's like, John's the king of the north. Cersei's a queen with no children. And friggin' Danny is riding the Westeros. We just leave it there and be like, oh, well, what happened? Yeah. Some shows deserve to keep going. Others just stumbled up to the finish line. So many more, though, they just stumble to the finish line because you're afraid of... Everyone's afraid of pulling a firefly and just, like, ending up nothing. Yeah, how is Rosalina any heavier than Peach? She looks just like Peach. What, is she, like, two inches taller? Whatever. We got our star ranking, and I won another cup, which is always good.
but we gotta switch the characters up for the next one. And then we can jump back to being my girl Toadette. Toadette needs her love. Toadette does not get enough love from the Mario franchise, even though Peachette and then ultimately Bowsette came from her. We need to give Toadette some love. And I think we will do that in the next episode, assuming I choose to pick her. Though I think it would make more sense if I picked another character just to let Toadette have the remaining ones. You know. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Endman64, and I hope to see you guys next time when we take on the next round of courses, which is the Banana Cup, which also has some pretty fun courses, including uh, Waluigi Stadium making another comeback. So I hope to see you guys then. Until we meet again, my lovelies, Saya Freakin' Nara.